porque, porque el tema del internet se me dificulta muchísimo. Eh, entonces, eh, eh, por ejemplo, a veces tú estás en la clase y la pantalla se pixela toda, entonces dije, no, esto es una locura. Y más que no entendí, entonces me dieron, fueron dos golpes. Ok. Pero, no, pero, pero sí bueno, lo que pasa es pero, que tú te no, estás claro, con pues, facilidad, claro, pero no, es sí como, entiendes. mandas la clase, entonces ya, pues ayer pues, me sentí a estudiar y pues ya sí entendí, ya sí entendí que, y cuando estaba haciendo el segundo ejercicio sentía que estaba haciendo lo, que sentía que había errores, pero no lograba identificarlos realmente. Inclusive, inclusive pensé, dije, ¿será que es que toca ponerlo, poner esta parte en pasado? Eh, porque sentía que la, 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 la frase era como, ¿cómo se llama eso? ¿Presente progresivo? Um, no, porque bueno, progresivo no, no. sería ING. No sé, algo que tú haces en el pasado y que continúas haciendo ahora. Ah, no, that's present perfect. Exacto. Entonces te sentía, yo dije, ¿será que es así? Y yo estoy loca. Entonces, entonces eh, me estaba volviendo loca, pero dije, bueno, listo, ok, lo voy a hacer así. Y, y pues tengo que cumplir, o sea, Diana, hay algo que a mí, si a mí me gusta es cumplir y estar como con las, con las cosas y además porque me encanta, me encanta estudiar eh, idiomas. Entonces, eh, cuando no me empecé a sentir como mal, me, me empecé a sentir como, como un poco frustrada en, en lo que quería hacer. Pero bueno, ya hoy está mejor y la, la, el internet está funcionando mucho uh -huh. mejor. Obviamente me toca irme a otro sitio, entonces todo lo que haga me toca con tapabocas, entonces bueno. Pero okay. bueno, está bien. All right. Ok, Sandra, no problem. All right, guys. So, can everybody hear me? I can. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. So let's continue yeah. with what we were practicing before the break, guys. And as I told you, we were asking, uh, we are going to use questions with the word how, okay? We are going to use questions with the word how. So let's practice with that topic. Let's see a presentation here. Um, well, most of you uh, might have had some experience with the word how. So you probably know some of the questions we have with that a word. So the only thing we are going to check today it's some other combinations. We know the common ones, which are how old, how often, okay? But with how, there are a lot, a lot, hundreds of combinations, as long as you have a adverbs or adjectives, okay? So, uh, please let me confirm if I'm recording this session. Am I, am I? Uh, oh, yes. So, guys, with the question how, okay? Well, first, uh, when we only use the word how, we talk about the method, right? For example, how can I get to Cali? So I'm talking about what should I do in order to go to Cali? So should I get the, a bus? Should I get an airplane? Is it better to go on a car, ex by car, etc.? Okay, the method. If, if we only use the word how, no adjective and no adverbs, we are talking about the method. Or if I say, how do I prepare eggs? So in that case, we are talking about how to cook the eggs. So what is the method to cook eggs? So I need this onion, I need salt, I need a pan, I need a oil, etc. Now, there are other possibilities with the word how, and they are usually mixed or combined with either adjectives or either adverbs, okay? either adjective or either adverbs. For example, okay, okay, uh, sorry, sorry, before we, we see the examples, when we use any of those combinations, how plus an adverb or how as an adjective, we are trying to get information about the quantity, although it doesn't have to be a number of something, okay? We are talking about the quantity of something, but it does not mean that you have to use a number, no, okay? For example, here we have um, these three words which are very common. It's the combination how often, how much, and how many. How often, often is an adverb, 
So we talk about frequencies. When the question is how often we use frequency, frequency, active, frequency adverbs, like always, usually, once a week, never, often, twice a year. Sorry, oh God. Please wait a second, guys. So, and if we use how much, remember we talk about uncountable things, and in the answers, we can use numbers as well, but we can also use a little, a lot, too much, not much. And when we use how many, we use about, uh, we talk about countable things. A few, a lot, many, not many, too many, okay? So we use those combinations, or although we use the question how, the answers are different, okay? For example, if we say, for the, um, how often do you play soccer? How often do you play soccer? Remember when we say how often, the answers are going to be always, usually, once a week, never, twice a year, okay? So, for example, if we say, how often do you play soccer? Possible answers, or how often does your mom watch TV? How often did you do your homework when you were at school? How often is the class? Okay, for the frequency. Remem remember, when we use the question, how often, we are talking about the frequency, okay? So, is there a volunteer to tell me, please raise your hand, if you have an answer for how often do you play soccer? How often do you play soccer? One volunteer? No volunteers? Are you shy? Okay, Sandra Santa Maria, how often do you play soccer? Never. I never okay. play soccer. Great. Ramiro, how often do you play soccer? Me too. I never play soccer. Ah, okay. I prefer very other important sports. something that Dario says. So, um, Sandra said, uh, never. And Dario says, me too. So, in that case, Dario, since it's negative, we say, me neither. I never play soccer. Okay. So, me too. When something is similar. For My example, name is Ramiro, am... no, Dario. Eh, Ramiro, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to write your name here. Ramiro. <laughs> In this case, Ramiro, we're going to say me neither. No me too, but me neither. When it's negative. Okay, Ramiro? Okay, thanks. Okay. And then we have guys. So we have how often do you play soccer? How often... Did you do you uh, do your homework, etc. Now, when we have uh, how much, remember we are talking about quantities, and we can say a little, a lot, not too much, okay, uh, not much, etc. For example, if we say how much water does your best friend drink, or how much water do you drink, okay, how much water do you drink? Any volunteer to tell me how much water do you drink? How much water do you drink every day? No, no volunteers? Okay, Ramiro again. I bring two, two or three glass water in the day. Yeah, two or three glasses, right? Glasses. Glasses, sorry. Yes, okay, good. And guys, we also have the question that you know how many. Remember how many is for countable things. For example, siblings, how many siblings do you have? You can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or you can say a lot, not too many, not too much, okay? So guys, how many siblings do you have? Any volunteer to tell us how many siblings do you have? Let's talk about... What is meaning siblings? I siblings, don't John, is brothers and sisters brothers and sisters okay when you mix sorry the words brother and sister is siblings so it's not okay to say how many brothers no how many siblings do you have is is that okay john or not really okay. uh, i got a, got a question sorry uh, yes ramiro in this case many uh, what is the use in this case uh, an example often is frequency Mm -hmm. much is quantity, many, many is quantity too? Quantity, but for countable things, Dario. Because, for ah, example, countable. you can say one brother, two brothers, three siblings. Okay? 
quantitative. Quantitative? Countables. Yeah. And uncountable smash. Yes, I forget okay. it. Thank you. John, is it is it clear for you? The word siblings? Uh, I don't know. Uh, look at this example. Nicolas, how many siblings do you have? Uh, I have one sibling. <laughs> okay, but in that case, I have one sister, right? One sister, yes. Yeah, okay. And you, Lida, how many siblings do you have? I have one sister and one brother. Exactly. Uh, two siblings. Exactly. Yeah. You, you see, John ah, has, okay, yeah. okay, he has okay, one yeah. brother and one sister. Two siblings, oh, yeah. not two brothers. Two siblings, not two brothers. Okay. 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 Right. Understand. Okay. Nico, do you have a question? Nico? No? I'm going to put your hand down. Okay. All right, guys. Now, okay, so we have possible answers here. Now, guys, we have this adjective and an adverb. We have the adjective far, we have the adjective good, and we have the adverb well. So we have far, good, they are adjectives, and we have well, which is an adverb. We're going to use the question how, so how far, how good, and how well. How far, how good, how well. When are we going to use how far? When we talk about measure and distances, okay? Measure and distances, for example, in meters, kilometers, or miles. So when we use the question how far, we are talking about the distances. For example, remember how far is Simón Bolívar Park from uh, the Bolívar Plaza de Bolívar or Bolívar Square? Does anybody remember the answer? Yes. What's eight the answer? To nine, eight to nine kilometers. Eight to nine kilometers. That's right, Lida. Okay, so that's the distance. Or you can say far, very far not too far. Here we have how good, and when the question is how good, we are talking about the quality of things, okay? The quality. So we say how good uh, is, uh, how good is a uh, Apple? How good is an iPhone? Is it a good cell phone or not really? Or how good is a uh, Claro, you know, Claro the telephone service? How good is Claro in your opinions? How good is Claro? Bad. He's bad? He's okay. bad. In my way, it's terrible. terrible. Okay. <laughs> so we are talking about the quality of things, okay? So how far for distances, how good for uh, quality, and we have how well, which is similar to how good, but we use it for activities, okay? We use it for activities. For example, how well do you play the guitar? How well do you speak English? How well do you cook? So in this case, we are not talking about the um, guys. We are not talking about the the uh, quality of things, but the quality of activities. What activities? Cooking, dancing, speaking English, playing the guitar, eh, etc. Okay. For example, if I say, how well do you cook? How well do you cook? How well do you cook? Gerardo, how well do you cook? I'm, 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 well, uh, cook. I cook well, I cook well. I cook well, I cook well. Okay. Uh, food, uh, okay, okay. Local food, local food. Local food. Local food, that's right. Okay. Or how well do you sing? How well do you sing, Lida? How well do you sing? Um, I, I'm not very well sing. Uh, at singing. Okay, I'm at, not very at, well at singing. singing. Okay. okay. All right. And Mr. Rincon, how well do you speak French? Mm, I think uh, very well. <laughs> okay, good, good. Excellent, Mr. Rincon. So, guys, remember here we have the question. How far for distances? How good for uh, measuring the quality of things? And how well to measuring the quality of activities?
activities. So good and well are, let's say they are similar, but good is only for things, objects or nouns, while well it's for activities, cooking, dancing, swimming, playing the guitar, playing soccer, etc. Here we have some examples. For example, we have how far do you usually run? Do you, how far does he walk? How far did you go yesterday? How far is Paris from Bogota? How good is the Colombian team? How good are schools in Colombia? How good are those shoes? How well do you play the guitar? How well does your husband cook? And so on. In the answers, remember, we can say here, for example, for how far? Two kilometers, five blocks. I walked for two hours, although the best answer here that would be uh, in meters or kilometers and very far. For good things, so the Colombian team is OK, the schools are good, the shoes are nice. And for the guitar, for example, I don't play at all. I don't play the guitar. That's my case. Uh, he prepares delicious food for the case of my husband. If we talk about your husband, I don't have a husband. And uh, how does uh, Shakira speak English? How well does Shakira speak English? So she speaks English actually very, very well. OK, she speaks perfectly. Then we have guys, do you have any questions about this one? About how far, good and well? Questions or problems there? No, but Please, Diana, uh, please wait a second because everybody's talking at the same time. That's why it is important to raise the hand. John Castro, what's your question? No, teacher, it's necessary uh, learning um, for uh, do you speak the contents? Uh, I, I use for general how much, how long, mm -hmm. how many, but uh, this other instant insta uh, sentence I don't uh, meet. I don't know them. OK, I don't yeah. know. But if you see, John, some of them are related to the answer, because if we talk about far, remember far is uh, when we talk about the, the, the distance. So uh, if you say near or far, we talk about kilometers, etc. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we say yeah. good, well, probably it's talking about the quality. It's a little common. It's a little common use uh, the, the sentence. Not really, John. They are not uncommon. They are very common. Yes? Okay. Yes. They I'm are. Sorry. They are very, very common. OK, because for instance, John, if you have to talk about the distance, what is the question in English? If I want to know the distance from Bogota to Cali, what is the question? OK, how far mm -hmm. do you? And there is no other possibility. Or maybe there are other possibilities, but they are too long. Like how many kilometers are there from Bogota to Cali? That's too long. And the correct expression is how far. OK, OK, All perfect. Right. Sandra okay. Santa Maria, what's your question? Yes, can you show the the, the, the anterior? Uh, the previous? The previous uh, slide. 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 Okay. The previous slide, please. Okay, Sandra. Ay. Measure distance. Anyway, you will have this information on your emails, uh, Sandra. Okay. All right. OK, guys, here we have these other three. These are two. These are a uh, adjectives and fast, which is an adjective and a uh, in um, an adverb. So for example, if we say how hot, how hot. So if we are talking about how hot, can anybody tell me what are we talking about? What are we going to ask if we use how hot? Is any volunteer to tell me? About weather? About, about, sorry, weather? Weather? Temperature. The weather. The temperature, temperature. That's right. temperature. temperature or the weather, that's right. So Why we measure the temperature of the weather. So we say very a woman. hot. To, okay, a woman, yes, that's true. Okay. <laughs> very hot, too hot, cold or not very cold. 
What about how cheap? How cheap? About cost. About the cost. Mm -hmm. About the cost. All right. Or about the, the good prices. For example, mm -hmm. it's very cheap. It's very expensive. Not very cheap. It's only $10. Okay. And if we say how fast, remember the example from the Kahoot about the cheetah? About the speed. About the speed. Or as we say, remember, we can uh, apparently we can use the word velocity, but I think it's speed is better. So we say how fast, okay? So it's very fast, not so fast, 50 kilometers, 50 miles per hour, okay? So remember the pronunciation, we say hat, no hot, hat, 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 cheap, cheap, not cheap, cheap, and fast. So here we have some examples. I don't know if you have any information. How hot is Miami? How hot is Miami? Does anybody know? Or you have a possible answer? How hot is Miami? Lida, do you know? Yeah, in Miami is um, hot, very hot. Okay, okay, yes. I, well, I don't really know, but I, I suppose it's true. <laughs> yes, I have never been there, but I suppose it should be hot. Okay. Or you All right. Here, there's another possible question, guys. How hot? That's Bogota get. This question means what's the highest temperature you can get in Bogota. For example, is it 35 degrees? Is it possible to get 35 no. degrees in Bogota? No. 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 How hot does Bogota get, guys? 19 degrees. 19, ah, 19, 19, 19. 19 degrees at noon. All right. Okay, okay, yeah. Although, you know, sometimes in January and December, we um we feel like in 25 24 sometimes have you seen that yes yeah okay so that's for how hot guys so how hot is real remember here we have this other example how cheap are hot guys this is okay this is incorrect hold on how cheap are hotels in cartagena how cheap are hotels in cartagena guys have you been to cartagena how cheap are the hotels there they are, are they expensive? Cheap? They are expensive? No. Yes. No, right. it's expensive. And the no? tax is, is very expensive. Okay. Depends, I think Everything is expensive in Cartagena. <laughs> right? Okay. Yes. Colombia is very uh, expensive in, tour in, in tourists. For tourists. For tourists. Okay. For, yes. Yes. And then we have, guys, the question, how fast? So, for example, how fast is the train? How fast, how fast are cheetahs? How fast, um, don't forget about this question. This doesn't make any sense at all. All right, this one, no. But how fast uh, are cheetahs and how fast are trains? Do you remember how fast are cheetahs, guys? How fast, how fast are cheetahs? Yeah, that's the top, that's the top, right? That's the top speed they get. 80 to 130. Mm -hmm. That's to right. To 130. Exactly. So here we have some possible answers, okay? So remember here we have how hot, how cheap, how fast. Here we have these ones that you probably know. The first one, I am sure you know it because it's very common in English. So it's how old, okay? Then we have how tall. And again, we have how fast, but never mind. We already practiced with how fast. So for how old, remember we are talking about the age. So we can say 30 years old, in her 20s, in his 20s, eh, etc. Or very old, very young. Okay. How tall? Remember, this question is about the height. Remember, this word is called height. Height, height, height. Okay. Height, height, height. So we can say in Latin America, we would say 152 meters tall or 100, yeah, 152 meters tall or in, uh, the American way to say it with feet or very tall or very short, okay, etc. How fast we already check it. So today in this one it's checking the use of how old and how tall. All right. So for example, here we have how old is Joe Biden? Does anybody know how old is Joe Biden? 77. 77 years old, great. Wow. Okay. If in this one, how old are you? How old are you? John Castro, what's your question? 
How old are you, John, before that? I'm, I'm 37 years old. Yes. John, you have a question? No. 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 no? Okay. You wanted to answer the question. Okay. And how old is your brother? How old is your sister? Remember here, how tall are you? How tall are you? For example, in my case, remember the possibilities. If you are in Latin America, well, you can use meters. But remember, in, in English, it's very common that you use feet instead of meters and centimeters. Okay? So in, in my case, I am like four feet tall. Uh, you, as you know, I am a minion. I'm very short. So I'm an oompa loompa. So I'm like four feet tall. It's very but, short. Uh, in, in, in for the others, for example, I remember John Castro is very tall. So John should be like probably six feet tall, John. Do you know, John, I'm, how tall are you? I'm one, eight, 83 centimeters okay yes. good all right all right and the others how tall are you hugo ortiz how tall are you mm, about uh, one hundred seven centimeters seven or seventy seventy all right all right okay good good okay and uh, who else let's check Someone who hasn't practiced a lot here. Vale, is Valeria here? Valeria, how tall are you? I am very short. Okay, go on. How is that? Is a uh, 1.58 uh, uh, centimeters? Uh huh. Or meters? Okay, but Valeria, you are way taller than me. <laughs> right. <laughs> So you are not too short. Don't feel bad, okay? <laughs> and okay, here don't pay attention to how old are how tall are schools there. Okay. And here, guys. So I don't know if you have any questions about the uh, information from the um, from the presentation. Do you have any questions? Maybe something you don't understand very well. Is it clear to everybody? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, it's clear. Right. So, guys, something important here. John, do you have a question? John no, Castro, teacher. can you please put your hand down because I couldn't do okay. it. I couldn't make it. It doesn't oh, allow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm All sorry. right. <laughs> With the other one, yeah. the other account. All right. So, guys. Here we have eight questions, eight questions, and we have uh, from one to eight, we have the questions, and from uh, A to H, we have the possibilities to complete uh, these questions. So what is the good news? That some of these questions, not all the questions, some of these questions can take more than one possibility. Some of these questions can take more than one possibility. OK, so uh, let's do it this way to practice. We have eight questions there. What would be the possible answer for number one? How blah, blah, blah is the poll? Here we have more than one option. Can you please raise your hand if you want to participate? OK, Hugo, what could be the possible answer in number one? How tall or how old? How old? Uh, Hugo, please. How tall? Mm -hmm. the, the pole. How tall is the pole? Uh huh. Uh huh. Any other possibility, guys? Please raise your hand to participate. Any other possibility? How uh, old? Okay. How old? How yes, old is Ramiro. the pole? Ramiro is very funny. He participates and then he raises the hand. <laughs> right. So we have two possibilities. How old is the pole? Or how tall is the Pope? Does anybody know how old is the Pope? How old is the Pope? Anybody knows? Any information about how old is the Pope? You can invent an answer. It's okay. I don't know, but uh, it seems tall. tall. You go? I don't know, but mm -hmm. he, he seems tall. He seems old. All right, all right. Or he looks, looks. Sorry? I don't know if it seems or he looks. 
Both are okay. Both are okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can say he seems old, he looks old. It's okay. All right. Please wait a second because there is a person waiting in the chat. Okay. All right. And if we say how tall, how tall is the Pope? Any ideas? May invent something. Or remember, you can say tall, not very tall, short. From your perspectives, how tall is the Pope? Diana, one question, please. Yeah, go on, go on. Where is the Pope? Pope? Okay, good, good. The Pope. This person. It's a person very important for the Catholic religion. The current one comes from Argentina. Bang, okay. All right. Francisco is the Pope. Yeah, exactly. Francis the Pope. That's right. That's right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's okay. Good. So, guys, what about number two? Please raise your hand if you know the answers. Rocio, go on. What's the? Ah, no, Dario, Dario. Dario is raising oh. his hand. Dario, what's your answer there? <coughs> Esta vez es Dario. Dario que lo llamaba hasta el cansancio. Sorry, Dario. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dario. <laughs> eh, how far is Peru from Colombia? Excellent. How far is Peru from Colombia? What do you think, Dario? How far is Peru from Colombia? I mean, uh, it's, 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 it's near. It's near from yeah. Colombia. Yeah, I agree. Right. It's very near. It's actually on the on the border, right? On the borderline. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you, Darío. This is Darío, Darío, Darío. <laughs> All right. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry with with uh, Ramiro and Darío that I always call Ra Ramiro Darío. Yes. All right. Okay. I mean, what about? And uh, what about number three, guys? What could be the possibility in number three? Hello. And Hello. here we have Rocio. Rocio, you're raising your hand. Go on. What would be the answer there? Uh, how big is the Pacific Ocean? That's one possibility. Good. How big? Uh, we didn't check how big, but remember when we mentioned how big, we are talking about the size, right? The tamaño. That's a good possibility, uh, eh, Rocio. How big is the Pacific Ocean? Mm -hmm. But there is another possibility. Does anybody know another possibility? No. Yes, teacher. How Go on, eh, Sandra Serrano. How deep is How the Pacific deep? Ocean? That's right. How deep is the Pacific Ocean? How deep is the Pacific Ocean? Does anybody know how deep is the Pacific Ocean? Remember, deep is only to talk about um, when we go from the level C to the bottom. All right? Tan profundo, la profundidad. So, does anybody know how deep is the Pacific Ocean? Oh, no, teacher. No, teacher. All right, I guess it's like, I, I, I'm i not sure, but I think it's like 8,000 kilometers. How deep? No, 11, 50. 11, Sorry? 11,000. 11, no. 11,000? Oh my God. 2,000. I didn't know that. How deep is the Pacific Ocean? Let's check. Oh yes, 11,000 11, meters. Okay, okay. It's uh, As you see, it's very, very deep, right? Okay. And then we have number four. Here we have some possibilities. Let's check what would be the possibility, Lida. Excuse me, um, a question. Yeah. Have a Go, question. What's your question? Is possible in the three, how long is the Pacific Ocean? How long? I don't know. Let's check if that's possible. With the meters, how long it's the Pacific Ocean? Oh yes, look. Apparently, yes. Okay. All right, good. Okay. Good, good. So, uh, Lida, what's the question in number four? Or you have a question, Lida? No, teacher. No? What's the question in number four? How... What is the teacher? How old is the teacher? Okay. What do you think, Lida? How old is your teacher? <laughs> okay. Uh, On this depends the class. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think she is young. And okay. Maybe she's um, 30 years. 30 what? years old? 
Yeah. Okay, Leah, you yeah. pass, you pass this class. I'm not 30, but thank you very much. <laughs> right. And there is another possibility. Do you remember, guys? What's the other possibility, Nico? What's the other possibility? How old? How, how old? How old is the child? Yeah, that's the one Lida mentioned. Lida says how old. What's the other okay. possibility? How, how tall? How tall? How tall? That's right. Teacher. How tall is the teacher, guys? As I told you, I'm a minion. I'm a umpa -lumpa, so I'm only uh, like four feet tall. All right. And then we have guys. What about number five? Number five, guys. Let's see. Uh, Gerardo, what would be the answer in number five? Uh, how big uh, is your house? Good. How big is your house, eh, Darío? Eh, Gerardo? Mm, ahora todos son Darío. <laughs> Gerardo, how big is your house? My house is big. Okay. All right. And then we have guys number six. What would be the answer in number six? Does anybody know? One volunteer, guys, if you, how often, if you how have often a question, does... please keep your hands raised. But some people, Sandrita Serrano, you have a question you want to participate? Wait, pa, uh, yes, participate. Go but on, go on. No question. No question, what, what is the, what's the answer in number uh, six? Uh, how often uh -huh. does a dog pee? Yes. What do you think? How often does a dog pee? Do you have a do you have a pet, Sandra? Yes. Really? How a often does it pee? Chichita. Oh. And what's its <laughs> name? What's its name? Adara. Uh, how often does Adara pee? Um unless uh, ten ten minutes? Come on, ten uh, ah. yeah. Ten times? Ten times. Ten times uh -huh. a day. Really? Ten times? Yes. That's a lot. Is she is she old? No. No? Because she, she drinks a lot of water. All right, all day. right. Okay, good, good. All right. And then we have... Uh, how blah 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 do you cook? Dario, you want to participate or John Castro, do you want to participate? Yes. What? Go on, uh, John. <laughs> okay. How good mm -hmm. is possible, but... Uh, but it's an activity. It's yes, an activity. But, uh, other option. How... Well, I don't know. Well, how, how well do you cook? Yeah, how well do you cook, John? I don't know. For me, it's good. <laughs> what does your wife think? Does she yeah. agree with you? I'm for yeah, the survivors. Yes, <laughs> yes. Right. In, in occasion. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, John, can you please put your hand down? I'm sorry, I'm teacher. Confused. Can, can you, you repeat? Put, can you please put your hand down? Bajar okay. la mano. Can you please put your okay, hand okay, down? Okay. En ambos partes. Porque es que me la dejas en ti y la otra no. I so, Lida. Yeah. Lida, what is the next question, Lida Benitez? Mrs. Benitez. Uh, what question? Number eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm not sure. Um, how long did you mm -hmm. live in Paris? That's right. Okay. So, guys, here from the presentation, we have three different um, adjectives. We have how big, how deep, like in the Pacific Ocean, and we have how long. Okay. So, we can use how long for the meters. Okay. For example, if we say how long is the soccer field? And how long for the time? Okay. For example, if you ask me how long have you worked at Col Subsidio or at Set Col Subsidio, the answer is five years. Okay. How long for time questions? Okay. Five years, six years, seven years. 
okay? Or how long, how long uh, did you um, live in the pre in your previous uh, house or apartment? How long did you live in your previous house or apartment? So does anybody have an answer for that question? How long did you live in your previous house or apartment? Nico, have you always lived in the same house? No, no. Ah, you, you were not going to participate. John Castro sigue sin bajar la mano. ¿Tienes una pregunta, John? No, en algún teacher, lado fijaste ya, la mano ya levantada bajé, y no, es, ya las que no bajé, me la deja bajar. No, pero, Entonces, no sé si tienes una pregunta. Con... No, 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 ya están abajo las dos. No, mira, pero, te voy a mandar un pantallazo y verás que no. Ah, ahí la levanté. ¿De ahora ambos la lados? Bajé. Sí, ahora la bajé. Sí. No. Ahora prenda la cámara, John. ¿Cómo es, Gerardo? No, John. Ok, John, cuando, cuando vayas a hablar me avisas porque ahí se ven los dos, right? This, this is so okay. funny, huh? I don't know. All right. So, guys, do you have any questions? Uh, no, but did nobody answered. How long did you live in your previous house or in your previous apartment? How long did you live there? One year, 10 years, 15 years, 19 years. How long did you live in your previous house? or in your previous neighborhood. Go on, Sandra Santa Maria. I lived four years in my previous house. Excellent, that's right, okay? So mm -hmm. remember the question, when the question is how long, we use it, guys, when we want to create, um, when we want to talk about um, the, the years or the time. Okay, not only years, it could be months, it could be days, it could be weeks, etc. I don't know, guys, if you have any questions about this. Yes, Nico, what's your question? Go on. Yes, um, I, I, can use, I can use the long, how long for time and long? <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, and measures. Yes, Nico, it's possible. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, it is totally possible. The difference would be, uh, for example, if you say how long is that house or how long is that uh, shirt, the verb to be, and if you use another verb, how long did you live there? How long did you work there? How long have you been married? But yes, it's possible, Nico. Okay. All right. Tatiana, do you have a question? Mrs. Garzon, Ms. Garzon? Um, no, can you see me? Because I think you can't see Not really, no. my right uh, hand. Yeah, yeah, I can see you. That's why yeah. I'm asking you. Mm, okay. But I can see you with the camera. I can see your hand, but not you. Is that your question? Yes. All right. So, guys, any other question? No problem with this topic? Is it okay? No? no so problem. while you think about the questions, guys, here we're going to have two activities to practice. As usual, ah, guys, I forgot. I think I will have to send this by email, right? So what you are going to do here is please remember to write your name. OK. Write your name and click on Start. And in the first exercise, guys, what you would have to do it's uh, only to select what is the correct word for each question, okay? Select okay. the correct word for each question. So could you tell me what is the correct answer in number one? How cheap it is yeah. it yeah. to live in Bogota? Yes, and guys, when you finish, remember you only have to take the word and drag it, drag and drop. Drag, remember this is drag. When you take here, this is not the correct answer. This is only an example. You drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. When you finish, please submit the answers. Is the instruction clear or so-so? It's clear, Mia. It's clear. It's clear. I'm going to try, I'm going to try uh, the chat box to see if it works for you. So I'm going to write that address. You only have five minutes. It's very short. So 
please confirm if you can see the chat box. If everybody can see the chat box and if you get the link. Please confirm, guys. I can see me. All right. Yes, teacher. Everybody, because you know sometimes we have no, problems teacher. with the chat. No? Yes, I'm I going can to see Hey, uh, I don't read message for a uh, chat box. Okay, no problem. I will send it through the email, okay? All right, thank you. We'll Please. send it through your emails. And... Sorry? Guys, don't forget at the end to click on submit answers. At the end, click on submit thank answers. Yes. So I'm going to reply to this email to everybody. Okay. And there I'm going to click uh, the first link. Okay. Only the first link by now. I'll send I send it to your emails. So Rocio, can you hear me? Yes, teach. You you couldn't see the chat box, right? Um Right. Mm -hmm. So, could you please confirm if you got the email and if the link works? One moment, please. Go on, don't worry. And the same for the people who couldn't access the chat box. You got the link on the, um, you got the link on, I forget, on your email. Teacher, no me llegó. On the email either? No chat box? No. Sandrita, does the chat work for you or not really? No, no. No? Any no. new email, Sandra? No, no teach. No? No. What did I do? Let's check. Ah, okay, no, sorry, sorry. The teacher is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I about now? Moment, moment, teacher. Mm. No. F5, no? no, no F5, no. Did you Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, what is going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Please refresh, Sandrita. Yes. F5, yes, yes. F5 or here. Okay, yes. click here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Guys, we only have five minutes because it's very easy. It's very, very easy. The good news is that you have an answer to the question so that you can check what could be the uh, correct answer? So I'm going to start counting the five minutes here. Okay, Nicolás. So let's I'm going to check who has answered so far. Let's check the results. The results. So 
so so far okay great great here we have some people who already have answered we have sandra serrano's answer valeria villamizar tatiana garzón hugo or hugo carlos patarroyo john castro zaira pinzón ramiro este es ramiro nicolás darío Carlos Rincón, Lida en Sandra Santa María. Ok. Yes, it's me. Yes, I'm sorry, uh, Ramiro. It's my I name, Ramiro. <laughs> it's you, Ramiro. I know, Ramiro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's check. There are some people missing, guys. So let's check because it's this is very easy, right? So uh, here we have. Yeah. Ready, guys? Are we ready? Are you no, ready? Yeah. Tup, 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 tup. Um, Gerardo, how, Gerardo, how do you say no lo envié? No, 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 es que no le, lo, lo hice y no lo envié. <laughs> Me, mula. ¿Qué tal mula Gerardo toca? <laughs> Gerardo, what are you talking about? <laughs> Guys, it's okay. I have some people missing. So look, thing, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen people out of twenty-two. What happened? So we have uh, ah, but no, Gerardo. Ah, yes, Gerardo, you have zero. <laughs> we have Rocío Romero, Paul Castro, okay, Paul, Andrea. Sandrita Hernández. What about the others who's missing? Mr. Patarroyo, can you hear me? Hi, Ms. Diana. Yes, I hear you. Can you hear okay. me as well? So, uh, yes, I can hear you very well. Did you send your answers? Yes. Really? Yes, 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 I sent it. But I have two, uh, two wrong? answers wrong. Two okay. Answers wrong. Because the I confused answers. the many, many with much. Okay. <laughs> this is All right, the, but I, this I is can the see your name here. Answer. I can see your name here. I have I am the fifth. I, I am the fifth. Oh, oh, ah, five. yes, sorry. No, it's, it's the teacher. You know, I have myopia. <laughs> the problem is <laughs> my glasses. It's not you. It's okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we you have Sandra. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I, I think I'm no going worries. crazy. This this is a problem of the age. You see, you see, you think I'm 30, but I'm a little older, and apparently I I, I cannot see very well. So let's see. I have a um, who's missing. Uh, I see. Okay, Hugo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen people. Where about the others? What about the others? Are we done, guys? You only have five minutes. OK, guys. Did you finish? I'm going to stop it there it's because we have another one and that one is a little uh, different. Ah, it's missing Sandra. Sandra, let's see. Sandra, Sandra Ceron. Did you send your answers? Is Sandra Ceron here? I think she left me. Sandra Ceron, Sandra Ceron, can you hear me? Yes. Sandra? Yes, uh, I finished my activity. Okay. Sandra, are you okay? Yeah. Sure? Still yeah. for Are you a little bored? No, I, I know I feel good. I feel okay. sick. Okay. You, you don't feel good? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, so guys, and but teacher, I may activity maybe. All right, yeah, what you say, actualize, actualize, uh, refresh, refresh. The word in the internet vocabulary is refresh, refresh the page or the website. Ah, yes, it's there, it's there. 
Okay, guys. All right, we have, we have here Sandra Ceron and Rosie Romero. That now is called Rosie. All right, guys. That's the first one. So, uh, was it easy or difficult? So, so. Not so easy. difficult, not so easy. I need practice. Easy teacher. Okay. You need practice. El, eh, ay, I forget her name. Saira says it was easy. Great. Now, guys, we're going to have this one. Then we practice with the correct order or the questions. This one is similar. But in this case, guys, you what, what you have to do is to put the sentences in order. Okay? Put the sentences in order. So this, and more than the sentences, the question. What would be the first word here? What is the first word? How. How. Well, the good news is that it comes together. How tall? You are. Mm, yeah. No, because that's not a question. Are, are you? you? Are you? Are you? Are you? All right. Okay. There we have. And that's the, what would be this one? How? 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 How long? How do how you? Long? Do you? Do you? Great. Do you? Take to work. Take. Do work. you take to work? That's right. Okay, guys. That's the activity. Is this activity clear or not really? Yeah. It's clear. Okay. So again, I'm going to uh, give you. The, it's very easy. So we are only going to take five minutes. I'm going to uh, paste the link on the chat box for those who can access the chat. And for those who don't, I will send it by email again. All right. <clears throat> let me check what it is. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. And here we go. That's in um, the email as well. OK, please. Do you send uh, the link uh, to chat box? Yes, yes. Uh, John, you can see it yet? It's in the chat box or in your email. Yes, yes. Oh. All right. So no, you can no, send the no, chat box and email. Yeah, chat box and email. Okay. It yeah. works? Okay. But guys, it's only five minutes. It's very easy. If you can check the answers there, right? Do you need me to okay? Hello. Hi. Hi. This for K? K for no? Okay, Nico.
How's it going, guys? Almost finished? There are only two minutes left. Okay, Zaira. So let's see how many people has answered so far. Let's check. Okay, guys, let's finish there. Are you ready? Yes, no? Yes, Was teacher. It easy or difficult? Easy or difficult? Easy. All right. Easy. Finish. Descanso, dice María. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Here we have 19 students' answers. Here we have Valeria, Nicolás, Good, eh, Sandra Serrano, Tatiana, Ramiro, Carlos, Hugo, Paul, Lida, Darío, Carlos Patarroyo, Gerardo, John, Zaira, and Rocio, Andrea, Sandra Seron, Sandra, all the Sandras get together except for Sandra Serrano. Okay, guys, so before we go to the second break, uh, let's check here what were the correct answers for this activity. What were the correct answers? So, can you, could you please uh, raise your hand uh, in order to participate? I guess one person can do two possible answers. Is any, uh, is there a volunteer? Okay, Rocio Romero, what could be the answer for the first two, Rocio? What's the answer oh. for the first two questions? Okay, how cheap it is the live in Bogota is very expensive. Uh-huh, yes, and? Um, how far does your mom walk every day about? Yeah, walk, walk. remember the pronunciation, walk. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> good. How right. fast? Can oh, you want to do them? Okay, great. Let's do. How fast? People. How fast? How fast can people drive in Colombia? Mm -hmm. Um. How good are these orange? Oranges. Remember the pronunciation of the word. Orange. Oranges. Mm -hmm. Orange. Oranges. 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 Uh -huh. Oranges. Good. Right. Yes. Um, how hot does it get in your town? Good. Okay. How much water doesn't a person have to drink? Great. How much how much water does a person? Great. How many legs does spider have? Great. And how often do you play soccer? Every Excellent. Mm-hmm. How old is James James Rodriguez? Okay. <laughs> All right, but actually the correct pronunciation should be Jane, but he doesn't like it. That's that's OK. All yeah. right. And finally. I don't have idea of my teaching. <laughs> so we have how tall is Mount Everest? All right. 
Guys, here in how tall, there are two possibilities for, for Mount Everest. You can say how tall or how high. How tall or how high is Mount Everest, okay? And guys, if you got those 10 answers, that's good. Then we also have, guys, what would be the correct order here, guys? Let me uh, start oh. again because I guess that's going to be a little different. And guys, let's see. Is there another volunteer to practice with these answers? Let's check who's uh, raising his or her hand. Who's raising their hand? Who's raising their hand? Sandrita Hernandez. You're going to put these questions in order, okay, Sandra? Yes, teacher. Go on. What's the first one? Uh, how how far mm -hmm. is uh, Sipakira? Yes. Do you know, Sandra, how far is Sipakira from Bogota? Mm, I don't know. No? All right. Good. Next okay. question. Um, how, how long? Mm -hmm. um, how long? Uh, do you? Uh -huh. Do you? Do you? Do you work? Uh, no. Mm. no. Do you, do you work? Do you? Or do you take to, to work? Exactly. How long do you take to work? All right. How long do you take to work, Sandra? Uh, do you know? All right. What's next, Sandrita? Uh, uh, how tall are you? Yes, how, how tall? tall are you? Good. All right. Then we have the next one, Sandra. What's next? Uh, how old are how your parents? Mm -hmm. Are your parents? Okay, good. And then we have Sandrita. Uh, how big uh, is your dog? Perfect. And then uh, how often? Often? Yeah. often? Mm, how often? I guess in British English you can say often, but in American English you say often. It's your decision. Okay. How often uh, mm. do you do you play tennis? Yeah. Do you do you play tennis? Do you play tennis? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about this one? Mm, uh, how uh, how many? Mm -hmm. No, sorry, sorry. How many? Are the books? Mm, no. No? No. Are there, are there, there are? No. There are. Uh, there are mm, no. How many books are there? How many are there? How many are there? Okay. Okay. Mm. Remember, every time we use how many and how much, mm. we say how much and an object. How many books? How much uh, okay. water? So, Sandra, what is the answer here? Or anybody who who can help Sandra with this question? Any volunteer? How yes. much how milk? milk? How much milk? Okay. How much milk? Do you, do you need? Do you do you, do you need? need? Uh huh. For for milk? Uh, for how much milk do you need? Need for, for this cake. For this cake. That's right. That's right. This okay. cake. Yes, that's right. Remember to say you. You. All right. How much milk do you need? Okay, guys. So we're going to go to our uh, final break. We're going to be back at twelve o'clock. Is that okay to with everybody? Okay. Okay. See you in fifteen minutes. Okay. Okay. You back at 12 noon. See you in 15 minutes, guys. Bye bye. Okay, teacher.